this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 55. In this video tutorial, I am going to talk about how the table size gets increased after a table reorganization operation. So this slide talks about the problem and the solution. So the problem scenario is after a table reorganization, the table size is getting increased. So the expectation is the reduction in table size. Like when the table is reorganized, all the internal pages, records, everything else is getting rearranged, right? So usually the the normal expectation is like to there will be a reduction in table space. Like one of the possible outcomes of the reorganization operation itself is the reduction in the uh, high water mark. So we can reduce uh, the high water mark and release some space to the OS or reduce the table space size like that or even individual table size. Uh, but there are uh, situations wherein after table reorganization, the table size is getting increased. So what is the solution? Why it could be happening? So there may be multiple reasons, but just I'm just pointing out one uh, important thing to uh, uh, note here. So that is the PCT free attribute of the table. So at a table level, there is an attribute PCT free. So which specifies that in a particular page of the table, how much uh, space should be kept free. So if the PCT free set to 50, like 50 percentage, then the table size will increase by 50 percentage after you do the reorganization. So what happens when you reorganize is fresh pages are created, all the records are all uh, rearranged and, and all that, right? So when that happens, when the rear utility is executing those, the, um, those operations, it will try to keep the, uh, in each and indi individual page, it will try to keep 50 percentage of the space free. So which means that if a table is actually only 20 GB in size, after reorganization it will become 40 GB because uh, it is trying to establish like 50% free space in each and every page, right? Uh, so that is why you will see increase in the uh, table size after the reorganization. So why this is actually done is so that the future inserts or updates will be uh, uh, performance wise, they will be better because it need not uh, scan the table space and allocate new memory areas and like uh, allocate new pages or uh, you know because uh, the the tables uh, individual pages are blocked or or like reserved upfront itself right so those kind of operations will be somewhat faster because of that so that is the idea so i'm not suggesting here not to use pct free but when you use pct free be cautious about that particular attribute uh, when you do some space estimation for the rear or uh, even for the load operation. So you will be loading into the table, right? So when you use the load utility um, in, in, in that table, uh, so you, you might think that, yeah, I'm loading only 10 GB of uh, uh, data, right? But it might actually take 20 GB of space, right? So it's like double. And that is like when PCT free is set to 50, which is like 50 percentage, okay? So you can set it like 10, 25, uh, uh, like that also. And the default value is minus one, okay? which means I think it will automatically calculate some value for you. Okay. Uh, that's it. So we will just look into a few examples now uh, as usual. So here I am uh, connecting to a sample database. I'm creating a table space, my PCT. I'm creating a table, a uh, huge staff, and I am loading some data into it. I'm doing a run stats. Then I'm selecting the cardinality N pages, F pages and PCT free from syscat.tables for that particular table and I am also uh, taking the data object physical size from the admin tab info uh, routine okay so this should give me like fairly uh, how much amount of space that particular table is occupying right so let's just do that so table space creation successful table creation successful uh, the data is getting loaded now Okay, so the loaded uh, data is also done. So you can see that it has about 2,53,789 records and uh, the total N pages is 2,309. So roughly 2,300 pages it has taken and the total size is about 18.9, so 19 MB roughly, right? Okay, so 2,300 pages and 19 MB of physical size, right? So let's now see what happens here. So now I'm going to say alter table huge step huge staff PCT free 50 so which means that I'm altering the table and setting this attribute let's say in a, you know somebody has previously set this right so you don't know right so uh, if somebody has said that and if you just do a re right let's see what happens after re let me do this 
so after here what i'll be expecting is typically what i should expect is the same amount of space right uh, because we have not done any insert update delete anything we have just loaded that data that's all so there is no delete operation at all so it should take roughly about the same space so it should allocate only 2300 but it will not actually because of that pct free okay so you can see that alter table pct free 50 then i am doing a reorg so when i do this reorg since i am saying pct free 50 right so now what it will do see instead of 2300 it has allocated 4600 pages and the size will be uh, 19 like twice 19 mb right 38 mb approximately that's correct right? and you can see the pct free value also right so when you reorg it will refer to the pct value and it will uh, the reorg utility will act accordingly so the space allocation is very important here right now let's say i have done this so there is no way i can reduce the space now from the table space so the only way out of this is uh, alter table uh, pct free zero and do another rear so that uh, you know uh, it doesn't over allocate or you you don't want this kind of behavior you want to reset the behavior the way you do that is alter table table name pct free zero or you can say minus one also i guess so now you can see that now you can see that the pages are coming down right so n pages has come down to 2310 now if you do alter table space lower high watermark it will have some effect so earlier it will not have that effect because it was occupying 4600 pages how much ever you do lower high watermark it's not going to have any effect on that so only the way this you have to set this pct free as zero or minus one then do another rear then only the actual pages will come down then the lower high watermark will uh, work prop properly okay so now this is not only for uh, uh, reorg utility the load utility also will use the same kind of logic only so let's uh, just demo that so i am drop uh, i am issuing drop table huge staff then i am creating the table then i am loading data then i am doing a run stats and again checking the size okay so this should be nothing new so it should take the same thing only so 2300 pages uh, should be occupied and 18 mb should be occupied okay yes so that's how it is there 2300 pages and 18 mb so now i'll again drop the table i'll create the table i'll set this attribute to 50 then i load the data then i you know pretty much do the same thing here right the only difference is this time i have done uh, the alt uh, alter table pct free 50 so when i load this right instead of 2300 pages it is going to load 4600 pages see here and the, the physical size is 38 MB, twice of 19 MB, right? So that, that's the whole point because um, the, the PCT free is set now as 50, right? So when you do reorg and when you do uh, loading of data, make sure that when you estimate the space, uh, you know, check this PCT free attribute, what is its value and estimate the space accordingly so that you, you don't get a file system full error or something like that, right? So that's the whole point, okay? So I'm not saying not to use PCD free, but if you are using PCD free, just be cautious about it. That's what I'm all I'm saying here. Okay. So that's it in this uh, video tutorial. Hope this information was useful to you. Please subscribe to my channel, DB2LUW Academy. See you in the next video tutorial. Until then, thanks. Bye bye.